Social as journey has been uh, an exciting one over the last few years. One of the things which I think has been most important is the way that if you engage in an organisation, that gives you some value. I've just heard some interesting statistics about waste reduction and energy reduction and carbon footprint and, and the way that a fleet can be managed efficiently. But I'm not going to talk necessarily about things we've done ourselves. I'd like to talk much more about the way that engagement reaches out beyond the door. When an employee leaves the office, do they take it home with them? Are they able to change their lives in their home place and the communities they work in and they live in? When the customer engages to buy a product or a service, do they take the message back that there's a different way of doing things? Is there an ability to change the culture in the customer base? And also with the supply chain, can you make a change within the suppliers that you're using? Instead of just the products they're selling you being some eco brand, but can you make the ways they operate also more sustainable? We're going to quickly mention three different things we've done. Firstly, our Green Ambassadors program. Secondly, our customer engagement. And thirdly, what we call Good Supplier Scheme. The Green Ambassadors program, we started off in 2009. Do you remember in 2009 when gas bills were going like this and energy bills? People were saying, hang on, now, how can I ever afford petrol at a pound a litre? Well, we were aware that we've made massive reductions in our own energy consumption, the costs of operating the fleets, the cost of operating buildings. We wanted to share that with the staff. So we introduced Green Ambassadors, where we enabled them through a number of seminars and information packs and freebies and all the kind of things you can offer the staff to make those reductions at home. But we said, if we're going to help you do that at home, we want you to reach out into your communities, to build a sense of community where you are and to enable those places also to do the same activities. Whether that was, for example, going around your entire street, door knocking, saying, come on, get covered to your wall insulation, negotiating a deal with a local supplier to get that all done in one hit, and everybody then feeling they've done something to reduce their energy bills, or helping to set up farmers' markets, or starting to grow your own food and introducing garden share schemes, all those kind of activities, those were outgrowths of the Green Ambassadors. What was exciting was we initially had about 40% of staff sign up to Green Ambassadors, Within a year, over 60% had done so because they could see the value of it. And at the end of it, they not only made dramatic differences to their own energy bills, but they also felt more engaged in the environmental program we were operating internally. So that's Green Ambassadors. Second one, customer engagement. Really, really important. The customers which we work with are nationwide and national co companies. Some of them are FTSE 100, some of them are seriously large public sector organizations. They themselves have a huge reach. So if we can make a change to them, we can out, the, the impact we can have far outweighs the stuff that we do ourselves. So we hold a series of seminars, we hold our Corporate Responsibility Day every year, and we're now launching a new scheme called the Academy, where we're doing training programs to enable new kinds of environmental managers who are aware of true cost of ownership, who are aware of all the implications of what they're doing, can grow out of all the activity that we can do ourselves. So bringing in best practice from a number of organisations and agencies. Finally, I'm going to mention our good supply scheme. This is very, very important for us, because when we launched our supplier assessment program with a big new emphasis on environment, we had a lot of people who came back to us and said, we have no idea what our carbon footprint is. We have no idea how to start engaging with staff. We have no idea what the impact of our products and services are. So what we're trying to do is help them on that journey, so we can offer them assistance on things like how to start up a car share scheme, how to implement bike schemes, all those kind of things that are normal, to businesses around this table are actually quite rare out there in that big wide world. And if we can make a change there, we're not only changing our customers, but actually the customers of our competitors, because they also probably buy the similar kind of services from our supply chain. And that's been really, really big impact for us, because it's also enabled us to move outside the environmental arena to the other side of sustainability, like ethics and human rights and other areas and more, more engaging parts where the supply chain can make a big impact. Those are three things which I think are very critical, and I'd recommend anybody who wants to talk to me about any of those or anything you want to do for yourself, I'm very happy to share information we've gained on our process. So have a chat with me later. Thank you.